Today in Zenitco in English, Clash 2PS plus laser flashlight. The kit, modes, how to mount it on a rifle and what will happen to it after you hit it by a shotgun from a distance of 2 meters. My name is Anastasia and let's start. Yes, there are balloons behind me. Zenitko turned 25 years old last Friday, so we keep celebrating. Clash 2 PS Plus Laser is the most popular Zenitko flashlight. It has a flashlight of about 400 lumens and a laser. Depending on the color of the laser, it has four modifications. Red laser, green laser, green plus laser, and the fourth modification, it has slightly different name. It is named uh, Clash 2 IKS plus laser. It is actually an infrared flashlight. It has an infrared flashlight and infrared laser. But uh, the body, uh, the kit are the same as with uh, Clash 2 PS plus laser. I suggest to unpack the green plus modification. Let's see what's inside. First of all, the menu, then B9 AK mount, it is designed specially for this flashlight. This opening here is needed to protect the connector. Let me weight it, 46 grams. Next, tactical switch, tactical switch KV 5P-3. It has a button a safety lock to eliminate accidental turning on and this rotary switch to control the brightness both of a flashlight and of a laser and separately as well. It weighs 57 grams and don't lose this small hex key. It is needed to align the laser. Finally, metal cylinder with the flashlight. flashlight itself. It weighs 198 grams. Let me show you the flashlight a bit closer with all its functions. Clash 2 PS Plus Laser Flashlight has three buttons on its body, one on its back to turn it on and switch off, two on its side. This is Russian F, stands for flashlight, turns on the flashlight. This is Russian L, stands for laser, controls the laser. How to align the laser? Here, remember this small hex key, you need it to control the laser, to adjust it. You adjust here and here in these two openings, so vertically and horizontally. Do not touch those screws, don't unscrew them, just imagine they are not there. There is one extra alignment key in the kit. I would like to show that to you. You can either do it by your hands or by a screwdriver. Extra alignment key always with you in the kit after you've lost the first one. What's on the back of the flashlight? First of all, place to connect the tactical switch. It is very easy. It is connected. And to disconnect it, pull the ring towards you. Disconnected. Batteries are changed here. You unscrew this screw. Here is a battery case. Uh, inside there are two batteries CR123. Modes of Clash 2 PS Plus laser flashlight. First of all, you need to turn it on. For that, you press the button on the back of it. You see, the blue indicator starts working. It indicates that the flashlight is on. You may ask here, well, it is not on. It is on, but I haven't chosen the mode yet. You remember, I have told you about those two buttons that help you to choose the mode. I will use them now. For example, I would like to start with the flashlight. I press the F button. The flashlight starts working. Uh, there are different ways that it, I can operate that. For example, I would like to turn it on in tactical mode. I press the button and hold it. And when I stop holding it, it stops working. Next mode is stroboscope. For example, I press it twice. 
and it works in a stroboscope mode. Next, brightness control. I turn it on, I press the button and I start lowering the brightness. I would like to keep this brightness. And this mode is saved, so every used mode is saved and when you turn it off and turn it on again, you see the same brightness, so it was saved. Next, I would like to turn on the laser, to add a laser here. Now the flashlight works together with the laser. It is important to mention here that in this mode only the brightness of a flashlight can be controlled. But I can control the brightness of a laser if I turn off the flashlight and change the brightness of a laser the same way I did with the flashlight. And as I've told you, the last used mode is saved, so I can turn on the flashlight and this brightness will be preserved. I would like you uh, to see uh, the flashlight working with a tactical switch, so I would like to actually put it on a rifle. I start with the B9AK mount, and while I'm doing that, I may tell you some interesting facts about Klish. For example, for example, name Klish, where did it come from? This word has a translation from Russian. A klish is a tick. A tick is a small arachnida that lives in the forest and it may jump on you, grab you very tight. It is difficult to get uh, rid of a tick once it grabbed you and it can bite you. The same thing is about this flashlight, except the fact that it bites. It grabs the barrel really tight and that is essential for a flashlight that has a laser because the aiming point should not move, that's why it should be mounted uh, very good. I put it here, I put the cable right in this place. I need to put to get the tactical switch. Maybe I shall do it this way. Right here. And mount it on the rail, straight here. Done. The flashlight is on its place and the switch too. Look at this beauty. Looks wonderful. I would like to show you the difference when we operate uh, with a tactical switch. First of all, it has a safety lock. I lock it. Doesn't work. I unlock it. Works. It has normal mode. It has tactical mode. It has stroboscope mode. Uh, also, I can control the brightness, for example, only the flashlight, only the laser, soft brightness control. And finally, the final difference, uh, when I turned it on with the flashlight and the laser together, uh, I could control only the flashlight when it worked without a tactical switch. And when we work with a tactical switch, I control only the laser, because on a rifle that is more important, especially for infrared version of it. That's it. I've told you everything about Klesch 2PS Plus Laser. Now I have a final story to tell you about this little gun. It was shot from a shotgun at a distance of two meters. Look at all those damage it had. Uh, after that we changed the battery because the battery died. But when we turn it on, just a miracle happened. It works. It works after a shot from a shotgun. Surely I 
do not encourage you to do it yourself. Surely no guarantee will cover that and uh, don't do it. But we did it once and it worked. That amazed me. I saw it with my own eyes and you can also see this test. Uh, I will leave a link below the video. We conducted it about a year ago. Uh, this video is on our Russian channel, but it has English subtitles. To turn on the subtitles, you need to press the settings button under the video and it will be okay. So that was uh, my presentation of Clash 2PS plus laser. I hope you liked it. Uh, you can buy Clash 2PS plus laser in our partner stores. I will also leave all needed links below the video. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.